Welcome to the weekly roundup of Division 7. We are reviewing Round 6 and previewing Round 7. Das, how are you? Tom, good, thanks. Yourself? Thanks for coming on. Well, thanks for coming on for the last two weeks. Did a fantastic job. Let's get straight into it, mate, because uh, there's a lot to talk about. I'm going to start with Mitchell Park and Prince Alfred. Score, 109 to 0. Why? Because Prince Alfred don't play in Division 7 anymore. They are a four-foot loss each week. I find it, let's just say, I find it interesting that, interesting, I'm not really impressed, I think. Div 7 A grades uh, deserve to have a game of footy each week, and uh, you've got them now building teams in C1 and C4, I think I'm told. Yeah, correct. Is that is right? Yes. Is it? Um, surely this takes precedence when you're... It's unfair that your Mitchell Parks, your Flinders, uh, Unis, your Adelaide Lutherans, and these types of clubs who are doing everything they can to sustain their A grade, and then to have buyers isn't going to help them. Uh, Mitchell Parker on top too, so I mean that does well for their prestige, yeah. but... Yeah. Uh, They'd no, rather they'd have a game. They'd rather have a game of footy, absolutely. Yeah. So, and yeah. you should really want a game of footy, that's what you're there, so they just have a kick and a catch. Not a huge fan of the fact that they were so dominant in sixth grades last year, and now when the going gets tough, they've got going. Um, they certainly did. Not ideal, I'm not going to rag on them all, all year, but oh, that's probably the last I'll say of it, but disappointing. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, what what kind of reaction do you think they'll get if they win a C1 or C4 Premiership? I think they'll get yeah, a big, set, big laughing riot. stock. Exactly. But anyway... You've got, let's talk about people that did play footy darts. What do you got for me? We did. We've got uh, the first game today's Teacher Gully, absolutely annihilated uh, Flinders University. 24 goal 15, 159 to 10, 6, 66. So, no Gally great was, surprise. No, um, yeah, I guess Dars, it was the second half where Teacher Gully kicked 16 goals. They just ran all over them. And uh, stand out for me, Stevie Daniels kicked 10, but Doyle was named their best um, for Flinders, mate. For their best. Daniels? Yeah, yeah. Well, goals, I, I think okay. if you kick 10 in a 95 point, we can get a few of the old Joe the Goose. That's the one. Yeah, so for, for Flinders, mate. Yeah, we've got Matthews with five, Andrews with four, and uh, Playfield was there. Uh, the best player on the day with uh, Spencer, Rayner, Hull, and Schofield. So you think we're all to mention, mate. Uh, a very kind just, man. Why not just today? So just in Div 7. Because, yeah. uh, but they tend to go there fifth, probably Flinders University eighth, so probably with that much of a margin when their teams are so close. I know it's only just the end of the year, but. Interesting stat. I reckon uh, Flinders Uni kicked 10 goals, just a three goal kick, yes. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, very straight, it's, yeah, absolutely. But um, for the university, we're actually um, only three points down at quarter time. But uh, obviously, it's uh, badly. Can, there can be a bit of a breeze um, at that ground, and that, well, based on it, it's hard to say, isn't it? That's it. Um, Adelaide Lutheran have absolutely brained North Pines 27 goals, 14, 176, North Pines 6, 7, 43. Uh, to the breakdown, I mean, Adelaide, you know, Adelaide Lutheran 18 7 at half time, they were on track for a cricket score, and in the end, it was still quite comfortable. Uh, Hawthorne. Um, rested down in a pocket with a bit of an injury and just snagged a lazy 12. 12. Kowald kicked 7. Hawthorne was given their best of Brunick, the second best. Four North Pines. Oh, yeah, North Pines. So he in with two and uh, individuals to five other players in a very low scoring game for, for North Pines. Mm. Best players were Weir, Common, and Daniel. So, uh, but yep. um, I mean, where are we? We've got um, LA Lutheran, they're sitting fourth at the moment, and we'll say uh, LA Lutheran, they're not. One team's going to play finals and one team is correct. not going to play Another finals. massive margin for North Pines who are probably just out of the five now, so bit of a, over, well over 100 points, so they're just yeah. pretty close There's to There's a big gap between sixth and yeah. seventh from what I can tell, yeah. so we've got six teams fighting out for the top five and um, yeah, and the rest uh, of you also ran. One team that just can't quite take a trip is Central United, they had it. They had it in the palm of their hands, they led all day, only to fall to Adelaide Uni by three points with one of the last kicks of the day, mate. They'd be devastated, the boys. They would be. Um, it was at Uni Oval, so, but for Central United, they didn't get up, but Frith deserves a mention for his five, and Harine was their best player. And for Adelaide University, we've got Paul Pagon with two, Francis with two, with an individual gee whiz, there's probably eight yeah, other 11 goal there, kickers so probably suggested why they got over the line. Yeah. Spread around very well, so best players are Davis and Riley, um, the best players, so that would have been a crack of a game to watch out there by three yeah. points, so. Would have been good, mate. But uh, Adelaide, you, you certainly needed that to, to save the bottom spot. and um, Sixth spot. And Century United, yeah. yep, sorry. So, and, uh, yeah, Uni sneaking into six on four and two. A bit rough to not be in the five with four and two. But. That's it. And Central United's still struggling there at uh, second, second bottom at the moment. Yes. Now, the next game is one of interest. Uh, Parry Hills would have been heavy favourites before the game, but uh, they left out Hanson and Cree for discipline reasons. They played B grade, they kicked 15 between them. They took their medicine and did a great job. Maybe a little less than that for PAC. But, um... They ended up losing Parry Hills, but uh, well done to the coach. Yeah, they just died in the arse in the last quarter. Can I say that? Oh, absolutely. Only kicked one point while St Paul's kicked the last two goals. But for Parry Hills, it was Sean Dutchie Holland who was their best player with four goals. Well done to Dutch. For Saints, mate. Yeah, we've got a Schmeck with four and 
Bojevic with four also, and I say I mentioned Lizio with three. I'm getting the names quite correct now. But he was their best player. He was the best yeah. player with uh, just Lizio, yep, and Rouston and Adam. Now, just interesting, you say they were dropped for discipline reason, Div seven. Yep. That's uh, that, that good on them too. Doesn't matter what team you're playing if you're not doing the right thing by the team. Yep. So Paul Cree was the leading goal kicker of the competition before that game, and um, yeah, and dropped. And Hanson, well, like I said, him and Hanson kicked 15 between them. So Wayne Knowles tells me tonight. Uh, well, I was making my many calls and leading up, trying to get the inside knowledge. Um, so, uh, Darcy, let's just get straight on to this week's game, shall no, we? we certainly always got North Pines uh, versus PAC. North Pines will win by 109 North, points. About 22 20 goals, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to put that in, so why not? About 22 goals. Mitchell Parker finished University. But Mitchell Parker had to rest at Will Grizzly, obviously, with the bye with PAC. Playing Finnish University who are struggling, so like Mitchell Parker on top, I reckon Mitchell Parker by quite a bit in this game. Yeah, it could get ugly. If uh, Flinders Union lost by 95 last week, Mitchell Parker's sitting top 6-0, and oh, and Nolsey's running a tight ship down there. He knows how to win a Div 7 Premiership, the great man. Uh, it badly too. Uh, my brother thought. Trucker. So... Because he drops through. Um, <laughs> that wasn't a swear word. Uh, yeah, Mitchell Park by 20 goals. Absolutely. Then we've got Century United at, and Adelaide Lutheran out there at Century United. Gee whiz, this is going to be a pretty, pretty close game. Century United are, are they struggling. Adelaide Lutheran probably are at the same time, but I reckon it's Adelaide Lutheran by a little bit. Yeah, I think uh, Lutheran 4 and 2. Just quickly, uh, Adelaide Lutheran 4 and 2. I think Adelaide Lutheran should win this comfortably. Um, our good friend there, Kimmy Hilliard, will have the boys up and running. Be a very high scoring game, I expect. Probably our game of the round, uh, or you could argue it's our game of the round. Would you say it's game of the round, Darcy? No, Teach Gully Power Hills, absolutely. No, Teach Gully, oh yeah, sorry, Teach Gully at Power Hills. Power Hills, Power Hills, Teach Gully fifth. Uh, Teach Gully that good. Teach Gully, we were at Perder Ingram, obviously, for live call on the weekend. They're a good team at home, um, and they're a big chance against um, Power Hills, Hills, who were sorry. previously undefeated at the second spot. I think Power Hills will bounce Power back. Power Hills will be our oh, will be back. So, in yeah. the last game, we're at St. Paul's versus LA Uni. So St. Paul's They're fighting for fifth, mate. They it's are. fifth versus sixth. They're both four and two. St. Paul's would be crock a hoop. That's right, crock a hoop after their win last week, and I think they'll make it back-to-back -back wins. Agreed. Darcy, this was Div Seven. I'll see you in Div Six. We will. See you.